It's the 2004 Homestead 100 here at Homestead Miami Speedway. The final race of the 2004 IROC season where a champion will be decided. James won there as the pole for the race and two is outside to Roger Ray. Ty Lawsuit in third, fourth John Bundle and fifth Evan Rudd. JT Hanley is sixth, Jose Fernandez is seventh, eighth AJ Green, ninth Anthony Kingery, Diego Polnatsky tenth, eleventh Simon Nichols and rang out the field in twelfth Bill Duguay. Now something interesting about this season. Probably the least hyped up in terms of championship because Jose Fernandez locked it up last race. He's had such a consistent season. No one can pass him. As long as he starts this race, which he's going to do right here, he's won the championship. Pace car in 17 laps, and we're racing at Homestead. Who wins the final race of the season? Jose Fernandez has just clinched the championship. See some blocking going on. James won there, blocking Ty Lawsuit as they hit three and four. And off of turn number four, it's going to be a drag race to the line. It looks like James Wendler will lead lap number one. Those two have pulled away as Wendler leads lap one. Lawsuit to the bottom. He's going to try and grab it in one and two. It looks like he'll clear. Anthony Kingry going for third underneath Jose Fernandez. That 97 car. And they've now caught the front two. Simon Nichols coming up in that 29. He's looking to put it to the bottom lane. Kingry up the track. Simon Nichols to the bottom. Ty Lawsuit leads that lap. But James Wendler on the back bumper of that 24 as they hit one and two. And here comes Wendler back to the bottom lane. Anthony Kingery is cleared for third. Can he try and run down these front two? And with these guys being side by side, it's really going to help their run back. They'll get a huge draft and get up to these guys. See Anthony Kingery coming with a big head of steam. James Wendler leads. Anthony Kingery already to the bottom of Ty Lawsuit. That's for second position. Simon Nichols trying to join that battle. He's right now battling for fourth with John Bunnell. But he's going to get put to the middle. So here comes AJ Green. There's your uh, champion, Jose Fernandez, at the back of the pack. Anthony Kingery back on James Wendler. These two have traded the lead so many times this race. Kingery will get back to the race lead. But now Wendler won't have a chance to challenge back. Here comes Ty Lawsuit. Oh! Oh, it's getting tight back there. Simon Nichols making contact with AJ Green because JT Hanley made it four wide to the bottom. I think that's John Bunnell that got put all the way up top. And they're still four wide. Getting close. Bunnell had to go all the way up against the wall. JT Hanley's getting shoved up because that's Roger Ray in that 12 car. Ty Lawsuit leads another lap. James Wendler's gone back down to the bottom lane. He's challenging for a second. My, oh my, Wendler has a very strong car. He's been able to get down to the bottom after he got stuck up top, and he's been leading a lot of laps. Same with Ty Lawsuit. Those two have been the dominant cars here so far tonight. They're looking to close it out with a victory, though, and the whole field is trying to chase them down. They're four wide behind at the back of the pack. It's wild. James won there to second. Here comes Roger Ray. He's going to get to third. JT Hanley in that 80 car is coming. One at Richmond. Looking to make it two in a row. Here comes JT now to the inside. Couldn't get to Roger Ray. Ten laps to go this time. This race has gone flying by. As look at the battle for second. Roger Ray underneath James won there. Ten laps of racing to go home. So that's 15 miles left. Four cars have right now cleared the big battle from fifth on back. Roger Ray got tight, gets put to the middle. James Wendler going to try and clear up top. And can JT Hanley keep it down low three wide? It's going to be closer. This is allowing Ty Lawsuit to pull away. And JT Hanley trying to clear Roger Ray and James Wendler. Wendler will fall back on the outside. And they're still battling side by side for a second. It might be three wide because here comes Evan Rudd back in that one car. Rudd trying to keep it to the bottom. Looks like he's going to be able to do that. There's still three wide. Ty Lawsuit able to pull away because of all this big balling back here. Roger Ray up high. Going to try and fall back and get down to the inside lane. Simon Nichols 
Middle to bottom. And now he's looking three wide for a second. Someone has to tell these guys they have to get single foul next. See JT Hanley getting a big push there on the outside from Anthony Kingery. Gonna get clear. That was a great push from the 97 to the 80 car. And look at how it helped JT Hanley get clear of the pack. And now he's pulling away from them. Great move there by Anthony Kingery trying to get both himself and JT clear. And now that 80 can, can try and run down that 24. Seven to go this time. Three and four wide at the back of the pack. Four cars, five cars pull away. They're in a single foul train. Here comes Simon Nichols trying to get underneath JT Hanley. It made his car get tight. Now here comes Evan Run the one. John Bunnell has come up to the front. AJ Green is there. And then behind that big battle, there's Jose Fernandez on the outside. Your champion. JT trying to get underneath Ty Lawsuit. Looks like he's going to do it this time. He does get underneath that 24 car. Six laps to go. And don't rule out anyone in this pack. Anyone can win this race. With JT Hanley getting into that race lead, it's anyone's game. Down the back stretch, JT has cleared Ty Lawsuit. Just trying to protect the bottom lane. Lawsuit stays to the high side. Gonna get put three wide. Simon Nichols comes to the bottom lane. Evan Rudd has a huge run. Here comes Bill Duguay in that pink eight car. Five laps to go. If the caution comes out, the race is over. Four wide for a second. Bunnel up top. Nichols and never run in the middle. All the way down low. It's Bill Duguay in that eight car. And they are leaning on each other. Uh-oh, don't go five wide. Oh, man, getting tight here. One they're charging his way back up to the front. They're four wide everywhere. They're bouncing off each other, trying to keep it off each other. Just four laps to go in the season. They're still four wide. Now they sell it to three. Jose Fernandez, three wide for a second. This is the highest we've seen him running here tonight. Your champion coming up to the front at the right time. Can he get to the race win? Right now, it's JT Hanley's. Right now, he can try and go two in a row. But Fernandez trying to come. One, they're trying to come. Ray trying to come. Oh, contact. Ty Lawson was spun by Simon Nichols. They all save it. We're still green flag racing. Three laps to go. They are close. Going four, three wide. Roger Ray. Bill Dugan was spun back there by Anthony Kingry. Roger Ray going to try and run down Jay Tanley. But there's only two and a half laps left. He can get away from this pack because of how they're racing. Simon Nichols has cleared. He's up to third. Kenny and Roger Ray, former run, onto JT Hanley with just two laps of racing to go. Three miles left. Roger Ray has cleared for second. Ty Lawsuit's up there. They might wreck back there with how they're racing. Come to the white flag this time. Roger Ray with a big run on JT Hanley. He'll get to the inside. Coming to the white flag this time. Simon Nichols and Ty Lawsuit is there. Lawsuit makes it three wide. Jose Fernandez and Anthony Kingery at the back of this pack just weighing in the in the wings. The white flag is out. Final lap at Homestead. 1.5 miles left. Who wins the final race of the 2004 Iraq season? Roger Ray has it. Ty Lawsuit trying to get in that 24. Jose Fernandez, your champion, is there in third. Down the back stretch. Lawsuit with a huge run to Roger Ray. Here comes Fernandez and Anthony Kingery into three and four. Lawsuit off of turn number four will clear Roger Ray. And Lawsuit will win the final race of the season. Your champion will finish third. Ty Lawsuit wins the race. And Jose Fernandez finishes third. He is your 2004 IROC season champion. What a race that was. Very clean. They were wild in the middle part to the late part. And Ty Lawsuit with the last lap pass gets it done over Roger Ray. Heartbreaking for him. He ends up second. Jose Fernandez, your champion, ends up third. Anthony Kingery fourth. And Simon Nichols fifth. John Bunnell in 6th. In 7th, we had JT Hanley. 8th, it was Evan Rudd. 9th, James Wendler. Diego Polonanski. 10th, 11th, Bill Duguay. And AJ Green rounds out the field in 12th. Well, congratulations to Ty Lawson win the race and Jose Fernandez for winning the championship. If we look at the point standings, the final point standings, Jose Fernandez finishes top 5 in all 5 races this season. A very consistent season for him. Ty Lawson ends up 2nd with his win. In third, we had Anthony Kingry, fourth, James Wendler, and JT Hanley, fifth. Roger Ray ends up sixth, Simon Nichols, seventh, 
8 Diego Polonanski, John Bunnell in 9th, AJ Green 10th, Bill Duguay 11th, and Evan Rudd rounds out the points in 12th. And some interesting to note, your five winners all finished the season top five in points. Jose Fernandez won, Ty Lawsuit won, Anthony Kingery won, James Wendler won, and JT Hanley won. They finished one, two, three, four, five in points. No one uh, DNF this season. Everyone completed every lap. As you can see, the most laps led to tie between Jose Fernandez and JT Hanley. Both led 15 laps. JT led four or five races. All right, so congratulations to Jose Fernandez on winning the 2004 IROC uh, Championship. We have the 2005 IROC race from Homestead coming up, and that's going to be a wild one. So many people within striking distance. We have a tie up top the points list, and that's like one point back for third, two points back, three points back. It's going to be exciting. You don't want to miss that one. See you guys then.